Oh my lord. I packed this thing away really, really, really nice last night. So it should just be able to whomp right out of there. Slide right into there. Open up my Garmin. I don't know if you can see me in the Garmin. In the Garmin. If I'm not mistaken, we got a hard bottom. Hard bottom. Neville hard bottom. Oh shit. Right. Right. Oh, right. Right. Oh. Cheerio, mate. Some of you may be asking, why isn't your heater on yet? Because I don't have a whole lot of gas, okay? Oh, we're already marking fish on the bottom. Hey guys, this is another day, a few day runaways. We're gonna see what we can do here at this dirty little pond in the mountains of a very busy town. So, hope that the audio isn't so terrible. And tag along and join with me. Oh man, I wish my camera was a little bit better right now. Come on, bud. And Bud's an eater. Yeah, that's the first one on the board. That's not a bad one either. I feel like I just did that in front of some dude taking his kids to work. Hey, kids. Looky here. Bud over here is just killing fish. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Thing might not be a very bad video. See, like I saw it on the radar. I didn't even see it. But... Yeah. He f my hook up. Or I just laid the bricks into him. <laughs> Things all cockeyed. I don't even know if that'll catch another fish. I don't really want to test it either. Just a little stalker. Hold your face apart, bud. That's how you can tell a stalker. He's just so silver. Kind of a good way to get them to calm down, too, is just squeeze them right at their gills so they don't breathe, so that nothing happens to their gills while they are out of water. And Boomy's off. Off to be caught again. He didn't even pop up on my radar. Awesome. Nice. Respect the fight. Respect the fight. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. He's huge. He's, he's huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. I understand this one's gonna suck. Holy shit. Just changing my battery. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. That's not the biggest one I've ever caught. It's 16. It's 16, but oh my god. 16. I'm sorry, but. That was the only head I had. Oh, 
So, just to kind of express what I'm feeling right now, catch that beautiful specimen of a trout. I um, I've been fishing this lake for about a week now, just to kind of dial myself in. And catching that thing, it wasn't the longest trout ever, but literally by the time I got it up the hole, I was just astonished at how large this thing actually is. It was 16 inches, probably four or five inches thick. Like, this thing was definitely matured. And I don't know why it wasn't longer. That was definitely different to me. I just threw on Jake Head, which I'm definitely going to go find some more of these bad boys. I, I handled them for a little bit longer than I wanted to. I think it was like 45 seconds and I feel really bad. I was very sad. Probably next time I won't do that. I'll probably just keep them at 16 inches. I just couldn't. Alrighty guys. Well that's it for this video. I can eat a horse and we already had an amazing so we'll let somebody else come over to this spot. Check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, and if you really like me, go ahead and subscribe. I absolutely love this sport, and this YouTube channel is just based on me trying to become a better angler and to take you guys along with me on that journey. Um... I have a lot of really cool stuff planned for this channel, and I hope you guys tag along with me on this journey. Well, that was Evergreen Link. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Neville Hardbottom.